In Nigerian churches, there's a moment every pastor dreads. They quote scripture, the media team scrambles to find the verse, and awkward silence fills the room. One developer thought, what if AI could solve this in real time? Uh, my name is Dara Shobalo. I'm a product designer. Yeah, so the inspiration behind PBM is basically the frustrations that our pastors face. Uh, to the point that pastors only remember media team when they call the scripture and it takes a while for it to come to the screen. On August 21st, 2025, Dara tweeted an idea to build an AI that listens to sermons and projects the right Bible verse on the screen. Just said, okay, let me make a tweet about this and see what people think about it. So I tweeted that I'll be building this in public and then it got a lot of attention. I need the initial tweet I made, uh, I think the last time I checked, I had about 6,600 uh, likes. I was not expecting the acceptance to be that high. I mean, the number of views is maybe close to 500,000 views, I believe. The response was immediate. Pastors wanted it. Developers offered help. What started as a random tweet became Pubeam AI, an AI tool designed to keep pace with teaching. Okay, so the idea the idea is to ensure that from the moment this pastor speaks to when the scripture comes up on the projector, it's about two seconds. But building it wasn't simple. See, the AI had to work offline because Nigerian internet isn't as reliable. It had to be accurate because getting scripture wrong during this sermon is not an option. I think everyone would agree with me that internet coverage in Nigeria is not as fast as we would imagine. It's very important to understand that the goal is to ensure that from the moment this pastor speaks to when the scripture comes up, it has to be under two seconds. Uh, one of the primary problems is the acoustic situation of the church. Sometimes there are some noises that are coming into the system that is not directly from the pastor himself. So having to ensure that the only words that are going into the system is the words of the pastor. So we need to be able to ensure that the system is intelligent enough to know what is noise and what is the pastor's intent. I, I would say that so far, that is one particular area that has taken the most time to figure out. And then came the 20th of October, 2025, the first live test at Celebration Church International Ibadan. It didn't happen in a studio or a lab with a real pastor preaching to a real congregation. It worked. See, Pubim's first live test showed us what's possible. But like any new technology, it's not immune to errors. Algorithms can mishear, misunderstand, or present the wrong verse without warning. As more churches consider tools like this, it's worth asking how will faith communities safeguard accuracy, accountability, and the experience of worship when the machine gets it wrong? The answers aren't clear yet, and that's the discussion that belongs to everyone.